Welcome back to our channel. Today, we will be discussing the seven key differences between weathering and erosion. First and foremost, weathering refers to the breakdown of rocks and minerals on the Earth's surface. Erosion, on the other hand, involves the movement and transportation of these weathered materials. In terms of cause, weathering is primarily driven by natural processes such as temperature changes and the action of water and wind. In contrast, erosion is mainly caused by external forces like flowing water, wind, ice, or even gravity. Another significant difference lies in the outcome. Weathering leads to the formation of sediments and soil, while erosion results in the removal and relocation of these materials. Moreover, weathering tends to act on rocks in situ, meaning they remain in the same place, while erosion leads to the displacement of rocks and other materials. The rate of weathering is generally slower compared to erosion, which can occur rapidly, especially during extreme weather events. Furthermore, weathering is classified into three main types, mechanical, chemical, and biological, each with its specific processes. In contrast, erosion does not have distinct categories, but it typically involves processes like abrasion, transportation, and deposition. Lastly, the impacts of weathering are mainly localized and affect the immediate surroundings, while erosion can have wider ranging effects, shaping landscapes and creating features like canyons or valleys. That's it for today's video on the 7 key differences between weathering and erosion. I hope you found this information helpful and informative. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell for more exciting content.